going on guys it's triple d and today i'm bringing you guys my very first story time so today's story time is going to be about how someone i personally knew got back at someone he was beefing with so this all happened back in my sophomore year of high school and let me tell you this never ever do what i'm about to talk about it is illegal just please don't do it i don't want to see anyone getting in trouble so let's get this started so my friend, we're going to call him Jake, had some beef with someone who we're going to call John because this dude named John, he would always come up to us during lunch and fuck with us. So after a while, we were all pretty sick of it, and you could tell John had some problems, but doing it every day is not cool, man. And after a while, we had this girl get transferred to our school. I'd say she was pretty attractive, but she's not... She's not too important for this story time. And about a week went by, and it turned out that my buddy Jake had liked this girl, and John also liked her. So they started beefing with each other over it. Pretty stupid to beef over a female, but that's them. And after a while, John started dating this girl, and Jake hated him for it. He still despises him to this day, but I don't talk to Jake anymore. Two months go by and they break up, but Jake is still upset at John for stealing his girl or whatever. Doing air quotes right now, you can't see me though. So one late night in a PlayStation party, John tells us, Hey, I know how I'm going to get back at him. My friends and I, we were pretty curious, so we asked him what he was thinking and what he had planned. Jake told us his plan and let me just say this. We did not approve of it at all. This is pretty fucking despicable. Jake planned his payback in the most terrible, horrendous way he could think of. Jake started by making this Instagram account and getting pictures of this model off of Google. After he created this account, he went and he bought around 1,200 followers for this account. And he bought a bunch of likes for the photos he posted. After he did that, he went and he followed a bunch of people from the school to make the account seem like a legit account. And after doing this, I'd say the account looked pretty real. I couldn't tell the difference back then. But my little sophomore brain, I thought it looked pretty real. And this was only the beginning of Jake's plan. Now after a week of making this account, Jake had followed John on Instagram with this account and he proceeded to text him throughout this upcoming week so some time went by and John had confessed that he liked this fake account which he didn't know was fake and Jake had him wrapped around his finger they started flirting and all the other things couples do online you know that long distance relationship stuff and we all thought that was as far Jake was going to take it. We all thought he was going to catfish him and then break his heart just to get back at him. We all thought that's what he was going to do. But Jake, Jake had other plans. Jake then proceeded to exchange uh, nudes with John. Like fake nudes and he was like receiving John's. And... John caved, man. He fucking caved. John went and sent a picture of his wiener to Jake, not knowing that he was sending it to another man. And <laughs> hearing about this from my friend Jake, hearing how he received a wiener pic from this dude he was beefing with, oh, we thought he was, like, pretty sus for it. Like, dude, is there... Jake, is there something you're not telling us, man? Come on. <laughs> Come on, don't be uh, don't be scared. Anyways, after receiving this wiener pick from Jake, no, sorry, from John, uh, Jake blocked John, and it all went downhill from there. So after that, Jake he made a bunch of uh, different accounts, and he started spreading these wiener picks throughout the school. And that is pretty fucking terrible. Don't ever do that. He started spreading John's wiener pics because he didn't like him. All throughout the school. 
And, uh, this was Saturday night. The next week comes along, Monday. And it's all everyone was talking about because John was pretty popular despite him being a bully. It was all everyone was talking about. And it was terrible. Like, as soon as we showed up to school, hey man, did you see John's wiener? Ah, no man. I don't know why you, like, want to talk about it, but, uh, good for you. And first period comes along, we're all chilling in class. And we hear Jake's name get called through the intercom. And that's when we knew John was screwed. Like, he... Someone, someone snitched on him. So, throughout the day, we all get called in. And we're all questioned. They're asking us what we knew about it and all that. And we didn't tell them anything. We told them that we knew nothing. So... And after telling them that we knew nothing, the principal and all the higher-ups that were in the office, they told us that nobody had snitched on Jake, but Jake had snitched on himself, so we had to tell them everything we knew. And we did. And after doing that, it turns out that the reason why Jake snitched on himself was because he felt bad for doing what he did. I mean, I get it. I'd feel bad, too. Like, that's a pretty despicable thing. And, yeah, if there's anything that you guys can learn from this video, it should be this. Don't create a fake account on Instagram and catfish somebody just because you dislike them. Anyways, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you leave a like rating down below and subscribe for more. This has been Triple D, guys, and I hope you all have a good day and enjoy the video. Peace.